Hello, this is Dr. Whiting, and today I want to talk to you about calcium. Now, everybody knows what calcium is. In fact, calcium is probably the most popular supplement. More people take a calcium supplement on a pretty regular basis than almost any other vitamin or mineral. Maybe vitamin C is up there, but uh, calcium is really pretty popular. And uh, we do this for a variety of reasons. Uh, one, we know calcium is important. Lots of us don't get enough calcium every day in our diet. And then, of course, as we grow older, uh, uh, we get into middle-aged and beyond. And especially if you're a lady, you're going to be more concerned about adequate calcium because of such things as osteoporosis, fractures, uh, bone loss, and so on and so forth. But what you need to understand is not all calcium is the same. There are lots of calcium supplements on the market, but not all of them are necessarily made or created equal, as I like to say. Most of the common forms of calcium are very, very hard to absorb, and those can be identified uh, if you take a look at the label, because if you turn your calcium supplement over and you look on the back in that supplement facts box, um, it's going to tell you what kind of calcium is in your product. And most of the more inexpensive calciums that you buy at drug stores and uh, warehouse stores and that type of, those types of places uh, pretty much are made up of calcium carbonate. And it'll say that right on the label. Other names for calcium carbonate include uh, dolomite, eggshell, coral calcium. Uh, so basically it's ground up rocks and stone. And these forms of calcium have a very high pH. Now when we say pH, we're talking about acid or alkaline. And in the human body, calcium must be acidic. So it's got to be on the acid side in order for it to be properly digested and absorbed. Well, calcium carbonate, the kind found in many of these supplements, is very alkaline. It's on the opposite end of the scale. So what happens is, is that when you swallow those calcium supplements, the body has to move that pH clear across the scale from alkaline to acid. Now, when we're younger, in our 20s and 30s, we usually don't have much problem with that. But as we grow older, it becomes more and more difficult for us to acidify uh, calcium as well as proteins and in, in, in the whole digestive process. Because as we age, the stomach begins to lose its ability to acidify, to produce natural stomach or gastric juices. Now, uh, one of the factors in calcium absorption, of course, is its pH. And that's why some of the better calciums that you'll find on the market will have what's called chelated calcium. Uh, and chelation of calcium, of course, is an acidifying of the calcium. And that's very, very important. Plus which, uh, we have discovered by doing a lot of research into past clinical studies with calcium absorption on a wide variety of people, including postmenopausal females. And those studies all indicate that a combination of calcium uh, citrate and calcium malate uh, are the best combinations of calcium for absorption in middle-aged people and older. And because of that, here at our research center, we only use a 50-50 blend of calcium citrate and malate. Uh, now, if we're gonna talk for a moment specifically about calcium absorption to the bone or preventing uh, osteoporosis or bone loss, then we need to talk about another factor. And that factor are what we, uh, is what we call the uh, cofactors or kin nutrients that are necessary to carry calcium to the bone. You see, calcium can circulate in the bloodstream. It can uh, help with heart rhythm. It can do a lot of different functions. But unless there are four key trace elements together with your calcium in the bloodstream at the same time, very little calcium actually goes to the bone. Now, those four trace minerals include manganese, copper, zinc, and strontium. So, if you are looking to take calcium or you're looking for a calcium supplement that's going to help maximize uh, uh, your bone density, help to prevent bone loss, help to replace a, a lost bone density, and yes, it is possible to do that, then you're not only going to want to look for the type of calcium, uh, which is, of course, citrate and malate, but you're going to want to ensure that your calcium supplement contains those key three trace elements, manganese, copper, zinc, and strontium. 
And of course, a good calcium supplement will contain the other known factors such as vitamin D, boron, magnesium, and so forth. Now here at our research center, we deal with a lot of individuals who come to us because they have been diagno diagnosed with patent uh, advanced osteoporosis or bone loss. And in those individuals in particularly, we tend to use a liquid calcium supplement. So I've chosen a liquid delivery system as opposed to tablets or capsules for those types of people. Why? Because I want maximum absorption. And liquids tend to be absorbed in the body not only quicker, but to a much higher percentage. And that's important when we're fighting against already advanced bone loss. So, when you go out and choose a good calcium supplement, first of all, make sure it contains chelated or acidified calcium. Second of all, I highly recommend a combination of calcium citrate and calcium malate, both chelated calciums. Thirdly, I recommend that if, especially if you're taking calcium to prevent or improve your bone loss situation, that you absolutely make certain that the four key trace elements, manganese, copper, zinc, and strontium, are present. Numerous clinical studies that date back to the mid-1980s and since that time, in various universities around the United States and in Europe, have been able to illustrate under double-blind, placebo-controlled situations that this type of calcium can not only prevent increased bone loss, it can actually improve, reverse this condition by as much as two to three percent increase in bone density every single year. If you're interested in finding out more about calcium and more about where you can get the kind of calcium we use on our clients and patients at our research centers around the world, you can contact us in a variety of ways. First of all, you can go to the Institute's website, which is www.healthyinformation.com. You can call us at 1-888-454-8464. And if you have a question for me, Dr. Whiting, you can email me directly to my office at askthedoc at healthyinformation.com. I'd like to thank you for taking out a few minutes to listen. Calcium is a very important supplement. But if you take the wrong one, it can do you almost little or no good at all. So read labels, especially when it comes to calcium. Thank you.